Breaking news. Governor of Zamfara State, Bello Masari, sets Buhari in confusion as he declares the identity of bandits, says majority of the bandits are Fulani headsmen who have found a new lucrative business. Hello, my wonderful people. This is the very Buhari's governor. Uh, the state Buhari says is from the governor of the state. It's this same governor who have put a ban on cattle coming in and out of his state. This same governor has gone ahead to say we don't want, in fact, charging points in the state are hereby no more charging of phones in the state and closing down communication in his state. So this is to curtail insecurity as those who are their informants in town will have no means of communication and has, you know, signed an executive order ensuring that this is enforced and people do not charge their phones and all that to, to stop insecurity that is currently ravaging the state. The words he has said, you know, Buhari particularly uh garuba she we've not heard from him or uh, femi adesino warned nigerians not to profile any ethnicity my dear is not nigerians profiling any ethnicity as being the bandits and those carrying a wicked atrocity having bl blood in their hands killing people without remorse they send a full and so not be me talking. You don't hear them for yourself. The governor of Buhari State, Castina. Now, so God, he exposed something. You know? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Governor of Castina exposes the identity of bandits, says they are Fulani headsmen who have found new lucrative business. It had been a thing of great difficulty for some people to identify those who are bandits. Many accuse, accusing fingers are pointing to different direction, all in a bit to find out who these bandits are and what they want. Bandits have been terrorizing the northwest of Nigeria with destruction of lives and property apart from the unprovoked killing of innocent nigerians the bandits have taken into kidnapping also especially kidnapping of school children for ransom in most cases they end up killing their kidnapped victims which is really sad however the governor of castina state aminu bello masari has revealed the identity of bandits and what they want in a television program on channels captured politics today monitored by 7 pm the governor said that majority of the bandits are full who live in the forest who also said they are not pursuing any religious or ethnic agenda in his words, majority of the bandits are Fulanese who are full headsmen and have found new lucrative business, abandoned head, headers, head, their, headers, their heads and pursuing money. They are known and they, 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 they are known and they live in the forest. They are not pursuing any religious or ethnic agenda. They are criminals and they take pleasure in criminal activity, killing of people. Now that the identity of bandits has been revealed, what will the government do? Because this same, this same uh, uh, interview, the governor of Benway State granted to granted uh, uh, channels, and since then all hell have been let loose. That indeed this man is against Buhari and his cohort. Indeed, this man has done blah 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 blah. Today he's not the one saying it. Too. I have not and I've not heard from the government of Nigeria replying him on this account. I've not heard from the government of Nigeria. Because when somebody else said it, in fact, they almost took off his head. How dare he say that uh, uh, bandits are full and ease? Uh, they, they kept on, you know, whatever name they want to give to Otom, you and I have heard the name. In fact, She Wusani took to him, took to his personality. Oh, he has been in five different parties. He's unstable. He's not a he's not a proper person to lead because he's antagonizing the government. You know, like common man and woman on the streets. When they protest that they are not happy, they arrest them. They deal with them, break their legs, put them in underground hole. They can't do this to a sitting governor. No, they can't. They know. So they are very, very, very upset. And you see where we are coming from now. They are very, very upset with what is going on. And so this is what they are doing. 
this is the new tactics, this is the new thing. And Nigerians are just watching in disbelief. Like, seriously, is this really happening? Sadly, my brothers, my sisters, is happening. Sadly. Mm. We all know the identity, but everybody has been playing dumb. You know, when you when children when they when you watch Tom and Jerry, at times when Tom comes, Jerry will pretend as if he's no longer there until Tom will go and touch it. We know. We know. You you understand what's going on. You know, you know, we know, we know. These are full and headsmen who have been rearing their cattle and have found new lucrative business. They found new business. Yeah, business of kidnapping people. And funny enough, they are blood sucking. So you mean these people, I mean, so they don't have regard for life. They take victims and they kill them. Oh, you didn't hear. I had to whisper it. It's terrible. The things they do. Ah, it's very terrible. Human being like them, oh. They have wife and children at home. They will take another person. They will mm, the person. And they said the people should not talk. Southwest governors should not uh, should not uh, uh, should not rise up and say no more grazing because this is where they come deceiving that they want to come and graze yet they are carrying out their atrocities. Say no more grazing. We not not come graze. We not get grass. Go buy grass. Go buy grass. For our brother, they sell grass. It's called hail. During this uh, summer or during the dry season, they will cut the grass, the fresh grass. They will dry it. it could, there's a way they process it. It still contains the same nutritional value. Even if it has loose, it's just a very minute percent, yeah, that can still nourish the, the, the farm animals during a, a rainy season or winter or whatever season it is that they are not able to go about, you know, looking for grasses. So what are we talking about? Not be, not be me talking about Now the governor himself, or Buhari governor. Now they say, we say, na fulani zo, na fulani, they, they, they follow cattle. But today they don't find new business. They don't leave cattle business. They don't leave cattle business. In case you are not aware, we'll be bringing you up to date, full speed, that fulani is now have an ambassador. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But I, we've been telling you that Buhari is out to ensure that um, he make room for his brothers and sisters before he leaves. These are part of the mission statement why he came in. That, and that's, what, that's why the first thing Buhari declared to Nigerians when he came in, please follow the trend, was not let's face education. Let's give back credibility to our education so that people from Ghana, uh, Rwanda, uh, all over, we come to Nigeria for edu edu education. Now, or let's face uh, health care. Let's give it one of the best that nobody have to travel abroad. He say Ruga. Ah, ah. People are like, ah, what year are you? 2042. What year are you? Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Bye for now.